Welcome back, Love Tribe. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111 to do the monthly zodiacs. Yes, it's that time of the month again. It's the first of the month. So guys, just a little advice. I know a lot of people um, might want to join Patreon to get the extendeds because I do an extended version of every single one of these once a month. Um, over in Patreon, it's only $4.44. However, last month I had a bit of a glitch. Well, it's not a glitch. It happens all the time, but um, I wasn't aware of it. So Patreon bills on the first of the month. And I am uh, creating these videos toward the end of the month. I'll probably have them all uploaded, hopefully, by New Year's Eve. Um, so if you're watching this before it's the first and you want to watch your extended and you're not already a Patreon, don't join until the first. Because what happens is they bill on the first of the month every month. So if you join on the 30th or the 31st, you'll pay that $4.44. And then on the first, they'll bill you again for the $4.44. So just a heads up, um, if you'd like to join Patreon, we would love to have you over there. It's less than five bucks a month. You get a bunch of exclusive content and you get all 12 extendeds of the Zodiacs for each month. Um, if you resonate with being a twin flame, then you would want to join probably at the 1111. I've created a community over there of all twins. Everybody in the 1111 tier is or believes they are a twin flame and on the twin flame ascension journey. And so we do a lot of work over there on uh, guidance for divine masculine, divine feminine. We look at uh, what needs to heal to bring union together. We have coffee chats. I do channeled messages. Um, and it's all exclusive to the twins. So, you know, keep that in mind. And then the highest tier is 2222. I teach workshops there. Um, I'm actually in um, creative mode. I don't know why, but I've been doing a lot of creative stuff. So um, I am kind of working out what do I want to teach next. So um, if you're interested in different workshops, you might want to join at the highest level. It's an all exclusive pass to everything. Okay. And all of this content and Patreon is not available on YouTube. All right. Um, also, there's a special I've been running for private messages just till January 2nd. Uh, it's not too late to get in. I've had quite a few people take advantage of it. Um, it's full $30 off of $100 is what it normally costs. It's $70 till January 2nd. We can take a look at a whole year review for the year 2022 if you like, or you can, you know, address whatever you want. It's your time, but it's anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half long, and it's $70 instead of $100. All right. I think that's everything. So I'm going to bring you down now um, to your reading. This is for the Zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and all cross watchers. Um, if you're new, make sure if you are vibing with us that you hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you over here. Uh, hit the thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. And again, if you'd like to join Patreon, there's a link in the description box below. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, I'm so grateful for you guys. You know how much I love you. Um, you spoil me rot and you help me on my mission. You help to support me and Jesse. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. We're um, going to get started now, okay? So I'm going to take a look at singles first, and we're going to look at those who have somebody on their heart and mind. And just keep in mind that they kind of cross over sometimes, you know, um, especially if it's a past love that's coming back around in January. Um, it could show up on both sides, but you're going to have to use your own discernment to know whether you consider yourself to be a single Pringle or if you are somebody who um, just is in separation and feeling kind of like you've given up. <laughs> and so you're deciding you're single, right? All right. So for Aries, please, Holy Spirit, what do you have for messages for my single Aries in the month of January? What is the energy? Okay. For my Aries, please. Mid-month and toward the end of the month. 
and most likely outcome. Most likely outcome. All right. Okay. Bottom. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to I'm going to draw cards first then we're going to talk about them. All right, spirit. Now we are moving over to those who have somebody in their life or in their heart, in their mind, people who my Aries are in separation with or just pining for whatever. Love and romance for those who already have somebody on their heart and mind. I'd like the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, the end of the month, and most likely outcome. Beginning of the month, please, for those Aries who are watching that have somebody on their heart and mind. Oh, you got two. Okay. Middle of the month, please. Middle of the month energies for Aries. Okay, Spirit, we can't just, like, do that. Sorry. Clean it up, please. Aries, middle of the month energies for Aries that have somebody on their heart and mind. Thank you. And end of the month energies for Aries. End of the month. Gosh, you guys got a lot going on. Let's see if I can make these all fit. Spirit's wanting to talk for you guys. Most likely outcome for those who have somebody on their heart and mind. Most likely outcome, please. Most likely outcome. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm turning every one of these in the upright because my deck was upside down. And that changes the story significantly, significantly. But I had to look, see my deck was upside down. All right. Bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles. So let's start with the singles, okay? So for those of you that resonate with being single, the beginning of the month is the seven of cups in reverse. I do believe Just give me a second, guys. I channel, so I got to listen to my guides. I need to clarify one card because it's conf it's the only thing that's holding me back from my channeling. Channel or tell me why the seven of cups is in reverse, please. Why is the seven of cups in reverse? Clarify the seven of cups in reverse. For Aries, please, and love and romance. There it is. Okay. All right. So I think I got your message. So the bottom of the deck is the five of wands with the uh, seven of swords in reverse. With the lovers in the reverse.
So I feel like you've been conflicted. I feel like in your past, for my singles, most of your romantic partnerships came with a lot of strife, you know, possibly some lies, you know, manipulation. I mean, it's just negative energy. You just didn't have a very good track record by the looks of it when it comes to love. And clarifying that seven of cups in reverse is the hermit. And so it feels to me like you've kind of had some kind of an epiphany, an awakening, like you've kind of done some self-reflection. You've gone within and kind of looked at your patterns, looked at your, uh, you know, how you've chosen the kind of people that you have chosen in the past you know the things you said yes to that you might have probably wished you had said no to and so in the month of january in the beginning of the month it really does feel to me like you're not really interested a whole lot in pursuing love Seven of Pentacles, you know, I don't want any options. <laughs> it's like, I'm not confused. I'm actually okay with being alone, the hermit, right? I've gotten to a place where I love myself. I'm okay. I'm hearing I'm okay. It's like you're having an ego death with the six of wands in reverse, you know, that in the upright, this is being, you know, revered. It's being applauded. It's being in the limelight. It's being successful. It's, it's kind of people putting you in a place of, of reverence, you know, yay, good job. You've done a great job. But it's in reverse. And but it but the six of wands for me is also an ego card. And I kind of feel like you would rather if you can't win, <laughs> it you just kind of feel like you're in a place of of um if I can't have what I want, if somebody can't see me and my value and and honestly value me then I'd rather just be alone, right? It's like her cup is closed and she's looking at it kind of angrily. Like she's got this look on her face, right? I just kind of feel like maybe you've made some bad choices in the past when it comes to romantic partners or, or you know, maybe it's just that none of them were successful. You know, they just weren't good options. Maybe you have options, but they're not good options. And it's like you you haven't lost faith or hope, okay? Because this is the outcome. So in the beginning of the month, you're kind of like um, just focusing on you. You're not really focused on pursuing love. Why are you watching this? I don't know. Maybe you love me. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, it just feels to me like you're like, okay, you know what? I haven't had any good options. All of the options have been kind of non-committal just you know just i mean you got the lovers in reverse the seven of swords in reverse the five of wands in reverse it just feels like um i just get this feeling that you're learning 
in January how to be more selective, how to not compromise, how to love yourself, how you're learning how to be alone. And I'm seeing this as, you know, like um, if I can't win or if it's not, if they're not successful, then I just would rather be alone. I just, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. But your outcome for January is promising for the future. It's like you're facing a crossroads. You're literally looking at the future and saying, you know, I want to do things differently. I want to create something better for myself. Um, it's hope, right? Hope for the future. I want to have a new beginning, but I want it to be unlike where I'm at. I want to move, move away from where I've been and move towards something new. Hmm. All right. So that, it seems pretty clear to me. So I'm not, I mean, I'm going to, when I go into the extended, because I'm going to get your oracles, which will tell a lot more about this story. But I do see that in the month of January, you're looking forward. You're not looking to the past anymore. This is like, you know, Queen of Cups, I feel, is your energy. You're loving, you're kind, compassionate, giving, very intuitive. Um, and you're just really kind of loving yourself. You're learning to, to put up healthy boundaries. And you're just kind of looking to your future and saying, um, I'm tired of investing in things like this, <laughs> you know. You're kind of seeing that the choices you've had haven't been good ones or or they just never worked out for you. And I do believe with the hermit, the hermit is, is Virgo energy. It's all about inner work, doing the inner work, spiritual work. It's about, you know, the hermit goes to the mountain and talks to God about its devils. It's facing those devils. It's it's self-reflection on what feels right versus what doesn't. What works, what doesn't. It's getting to know yourself too. The hermit goes within to kind of learn about itself and what dreams you have because, you know, the hermit has the star in its lantern guiding its path, wish fulfillment daydreaming. So, and I just kind of, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to move over and take a look at those who have someone on their heart and mind, because then we're going to look at the oracles. And I do think that the oracles will give me more to channel here. Um, and then we'll go, we'll see what happens then. Okay. So for those of you that aren't single, that have somebody, I mean, maybe you're single, but you've got definitely you're, you've got somebody in your energy. So in the beginning of January, I see a little bit of worry, a little bit of stress. Um, I see you seeking balance, taking, like, I don't know, this doesn't feel like romance. It can be, you know, but it couldn't just be the holiday season. You know, there's a lot of stress and anxiety and bustling, sleepless nights, you know, going to parties, being up all night cooking, and then getting up early. It just kind of feels like there's been a lot of stress and anxiety. And it's like spirits saying in the beginning of the month, um, things are going to calm down. They're going to get more balanced. Things are going to temper themselves. There's going to be some rest and relaxation and some, some, uh, healing. Now, if this is in romance, of course, you know, you could be stressed about your person, stressed about your, your relationship. Uh, and the temperance card is all about alchemy. It's about taking one thing and mixing it with something else to create something totally new. And it's about divine timing. This takes time. It takes time and balance, right? 
it's not nine of swords. It's like spirit saying, we're working on this. You're working on this. You know, we're tempering this anxiety. We're teaching you in the beginning of the month how to kind of release that anxiety and, and heal it, temper it, patience, healing. So middle of January here, we've got the four of wands. This is beautiful. This is like happy home life. This is this could be union. It could be reconciliation. It could be getting married, getting engaged. It could be moving to a new home. You know, you're it, it's my 1111 twin flame card if you resonate with that. Um, that's definitely going to be a card that we clarify in the extended. But the middle of the month feels secure, safe, happy, balanced, quite frankly. I mean, four corners, right? So whatever you are stressed about, it's looking much better in the middle of the month. There could even be a reunion in the middle of the month. The end of the month, we have the strength with the Knight of Wands. There's somebody here, it could even be a, a Leo. It doesn't have to be, but could be. Or Sagittarius, because we got Sagittarius, we've got Leo, and we've got Cancer for majors. Wow, I like that. There's a, okay, so we got seven of cups here. I like the way spirit always kind of ties them together. Seven cups in reverse. To the sun, that's really nice. Three of swords, ten of pentacles, king of wands in reverse, and the four of pentacles. Hmm. Strength card with the Knight of Wands at the end of the month. And the most likely outcome in January is the Ace of Wands and the Chariot. So I do see communication. I see possibly union. I see a new beginning, Ace of Wands. I see it coming in rather quickly, passionately. But Aries, this could be your energy because you're the fire sign. And so, I don't know, you could be closed off to this. It's kind of like you're saying, I want commitment. If I can't get the Ten of Pentacles, if I can't get the sun, if, if you can't choose me is what I'm hearing. I don't know if there's a choice this person has with the Three of Swords or if it's just, you know, It's a little confusing because what I'm seeing is really good energy. But the bottom of the deck tells a different, tells the other side of the story. So somebody here is passionate. They're, you know, getting the strength and determination toward the end of the month to actually communicate, to tell, you know, to come in with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. But it almost feels like... It's more passion than love. No cups, like no cups at all. Till we get to the seven of cups in reverse. So I think, I think you might just kind of um, you might just throw a little water on this. You might just temper this person down a little bit. Um, it looks to me with the Four of Pentacles like you're just um, a little bit closed off, a little stingy with your energy. And I get this feeling it could be because you you want more than just sex is like the feeling I get or passion. It's like you want some 
real commitment. I see the 10. I mean, for you, it may not even be about romance as much as it is safety, security, stability. Because that's what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing you feeling a little bit off kilter. And you're kind of wanting commitment. You're wanting something that's foundational. Four of Wands, you want commitment. You don't want just sex. You don't want just, you know, it's like, yeah, well, you know, you can't just hit it and get it. I'm tired of that. Put your King of Wands shit away. Because <laughs> I've got the Queen of Wands underneath that Seven of Cups. And she's in the upright. So if you're the feminine fire sign, um, I really do see you kind of choosing your own happiness over heartache. It's like, no, I don't want to be sad anymore. I want to be happy. I want to be, I want something I can take to the bank. I want something I can count on secure. I'm tired of, of, uh, this King of Wands in reverse, you know, I, I, I'm a little closed off to this energy. So let's take a look at the Oracle, see what the Oracles say, because this, I mean, for me, you know, I'm a cancer, so I need emotions. I can't just have fire. There's got to be, uh, you know, when you mix fire and water, you get steam, right? It's okay to have steam, but it can't be all passion burning down the house. It looks like you're trying to ground this thing is what it feels like. It feels like maybe they might come in really heavy, really strong, really fast, passionate. And you're just like, whoa, slow your roll, dude. Or do that. <laughs> it's like, um, I, I, need, I need to know that this is going to last. Ten of pentacles, four of pentacles. I need to know that this isn't just going to be a hit it and get it situation. This is going to be something a little bit more committed. Ten of Pentacles. So let's take a look at your oracles. This is for both groups. We have the thinker. Yeah, and I see that with this Queen of Thor or Queen of Cups and the Hermit. And I see that here with this Queen of Wands. in the four of pentacles it's like um i need to think about this this is this is something that bears thought reflection next we have purpose i know what i am here to do see and i see that okay so you know it plays in definitely with the singles because you're like looking out to the future at your purpose you're going after something you've got your wand in your hand i don't care because i can see you through the window you be careful keep your clothes away from it so the thinker you're thinking about the singles are thinking about the hermit going within thinking about the future think jesse i can't do my recordings with that sorry guys thinking about your purpose thinking about the future thinking about something you've got something creative on your mind and I don't know why, but you singles don't feel, it doesn't feel romantic. It feels like you're kind of like saying, all right, well, maybe I need to focus on me right now. Maybe I need to focus on my, my future, my life, my purpose. And I know what I'm here to do. This also feels to me like you guys over here, you kind of know what you want is what I'm hearing. I know what I want. I want commitment. I want stability. I want long term. I I know what I want. I know what I'm here to do. Or I know no. <laughs> I just heard. I know what he's here to do too. 
So for some of you, if you're feminine and, and you know, you've got this king of wands that keeps wanting to come in all passionate, but fleeting, um, then yeah, I heard, I know what he wants too. My purpose is I want more than what he's giving at the moment. All right. Next we have allowing, you know, this came out for Pisces too. And I shuffled these really good. So we have radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. This is facing the truth, right? Being in acceptance. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change what I can and the wisdom to know the difference. So I see courage to change the things I can over here. I see wisdom over here as, as in you guys pretty much are saying, you know, I... I, I'm going to look, by the way, in the extended, at what this person's intentions are, if they're truly just sexual in nature or fiery in nature. Because I definitely see you as wanting a uh, commitment. Next, we have you deserve love. Absolutely. That's perfect message for my singles. This is all about you saying, you know what? I think I'll just close my cup for a while. I think I'll shut down options. I think I'll just like build up my own inner love for self. You know, you are lovable. I'm going to, to pursue my future, my happiness. I'm going to set goals is what I'm hearing. I'm going to set goals for my future. You guys might even have a long um, or short, but a very strong uh, resolution for your new year. You know, you're going to create something new for your future. You've been thinking about it for a while and it's on purpose, you know, something that you feel a calling to. And so you're just kind of like in this place of, well, whatever is, is, you know, at the moment, I think I'm just going to focus on me and love myself. You guys over here, absolutely. You're like, I love myself too much to just be somebody's hit it and get it girl. Right. See, the king of wands goes after what he wants. Now, if that's your energy, you know, you got to put the shoe on whatever foot you feel like you're in, whether you're the masculine or the feminine. The masculine in this situation doesn't know what he wants. He's not going after it. He's just kind of in, I mean, yeah, he's fiery, he's passionate, he's, he's wanting to, to, he might even be a player with that three of swords, guys. You might be dealing with somebody who's just kind of player. And I see you in the month of January standing up for yourself and saying, nope, I'm not open to that anymore. I want commitment. I want commitment. And with that strength card, it's like, that's, I feel like that's your energy. Like you, you're finally, this could be somebody that you easily gave into in the past. Somebody that you really, you know, have a lot of passion for. And, you know, you, you have a hard time saying no when they come knocking at the door. And you possibly are just as fiery and passionate with them as they are with you. But this looks like you're finally having the strength to kind of stand up for yourself and say, you know, I deserve more. I deserve more than just, just a one night stand or a couple night stand or, you know, hit it and get it in and out. Um, and it doesn't even have to be around sex or passion. It could be literally, you guys, quiet. Close my door. And whisper. Sorry, guys. My son's having a sleepover. And this is the last reading I'm doing for the night. So anyhow, that's what I'm ch kind of channeling with this picture. It just feels like you're finally getting the strength to stand up and say, you know what? I know my, I, I know I deserve love. I know what my purpose is. I'm tired of feeling 
Like you bring me everything, but what I really truly need and desire, and that is love and commitment. Passion. There it is right there. This is the thorn in your side. You know, some people would just love to have passion, but it's like you, you know, try something you've never done before. That's the strength. You're finding the courage and strength to try something different. And it looks like what's different for you is saying no, no, no more. You know, I mean, that three of swords could be another person. This could be a player, somebody that's always got somebody else in the mix. You know, they don't choose you. They could be married. They could be living with somebody or they could just be a freaking Don Juan, right? It's like, you don't want to be an option anymore. You know, I'm not an option. Seven of cups. I want commitment. Ten of pentacles. Or I'm not open to, to, you can't knock on my door anymore just for passion. Let's try something different. I deserve love. Huh. All right, so... I'm going to, let's take a third deck. I'm going to get advice for my singles. And then I'm going to get advice for those ha who are over here, have somebody on their heart and mind. And then I'm going to read you your postcard from Spirit. We're going to take this over to the extended. And I'm going to take a look at the singles. What is the future looking like for them? And um, I really want to know why the Six of Wands is in reverse. We'll take a look at that too. Uh, for those who have somebody on their heart and mind, I want to take a look at this person's true intentions. I really don't feel like a person over here. I just don't feel like anybody's coming in. I feel like you're loving on yourself. You're you're choosing to be alone. You're kind of sh turning off, you know, the red light. <laughs> you're saying, or the green light, however you want to look at it. You're just, you know saying, I'm focusing on my future. I'm focusing, focusing on my purpose. I'm, you know, allowing, I'm, I'm moving into the allowing energy of free flowing. So we're going to take a look at it, you know, this person's true intentions, because with that four of wands there, you might be reading this person wrong, but we're going to, we're going to find out. This could be fear because you got the nine of swords there. Could all be bullshit. It could just be the way you're seeing it. But we're going to find out. All right. Advice, please, for my singles. My single Aries in the month of January. What is your highest and best advice for the month of January? Okay. I'm just taking this one. Oh, the star. There you go. The hermit found its star. You're, this is it. I felt this. I channeled this. Okay, it's like you're looking to the future. You're looking at, at some of you might even be looking at fame. You might be looking at being, you know, recognized or seen or in a public platform on purpose. You know what you're here to do because you went within and you found that, right? Tell me more about the Aries singles, please. <laughs> Oh my God. So it's great. It's really good energy, guys. So your highest and best advice is to love yourself. Okay. You're not anybody's option. Don't be stuck in this two of swords, two of, it's like you're choosing not to be stuck anymore. You're following your true north. You're following your wish fulfillment. You're letting go of these devils. You're overcoming probably codependency um, feeling like you need to have like, you know, the clock, the biological clock is ticking. I need to be married. I need to be secure. I need to take, you know, have somebody take care of me. That codependent feeling. This is like autonomy. This is like, you are, you're done. You've, you've really had to go within and learn self mastery and you've, purged and healed a lot from your past and you've released it. And now you're kind of loving yourself and you, you're like, um, 
I don't want to be an option. I really do feel like you guys could have been an option for somebody to um, two of pentacles in reverse, two of swords on the bottom of the deck, five of cups in reverse with the strength card. So I think you're working on yourself. And your highest and best message is to just leave, you know, leave the lessons that it's time to come out of the cave. It's time for you to follow your life's purpose, to know that you deserve love and to just leave the devils behind. You know, these, this five of wands, seven of swords, lovers, this is just like, no, thank you. No, thank you. You, you haven't had really good luck when it came to relationships. And I think it's because you didn't possibly love yourself the way that you deserve to be loved. You didn't choose yourself, but now you're actually choosing yourself. And how you're doing that is you're like, I'm not an option anymore. I choose me. You might not be able to choose me, but I choose me. And so you've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of leveling up. You know your purpose. You're kind of in that flow. You're, you're out of that two of swords, stagnant thinker energy. You just, for you guys, you're, you know, passionately. Oh, I'm not going to take that one. You're passionately leaving behind, or I'm sorry, you're passionately pursuing your future, right? A lot of fire energy, of course, your Aries, right? But there is a lot of fire energy here too. So as far as the majors, just in case that matters to you, for the singles, we've got the devil in reverse, which could be Capricorn energy. We've got the star in the upright, which if I'm not mistaken is Libra energy, but I'm not sure. And we've, no, it's not Libra. Thank you, Spirit. They're like, no. So are you going to tell me who it is? Aquarius. Thank you. It's Aquarius. So I don't know this shit. I have to talk to my, my guides. They kind of fill me in. All right. So the star apparently is Aquarius energy. So you've got Capricorn, Aquarius, Virgo. And you've got You've got all the elements except for swords. So it could be any fire sign, any water sign, or any earth sign. All right. So that, I'm going to leave that there for you. I'm going to read you your postcard from Spirit. It says, dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right places, the right opportunities and the right in the right time just showed up without any of your help. That's that allowing. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up. Yeah, right here. It kind of feels like you are giving up on romance because you're kind of loving yourself. Um, but just as you give up, you know, it. That, that's when true love sometimes comes in. <laughs> you do have passion here. But um, it says, you want to know that miracles are being, con we want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, when they will show up and what they will do for you. All of that is in our department. Spirit shows what is best for you or knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. See purpose. This is big for you guys. Okay. Spirit knows what's best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. So you are an incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. All right. Now, of course, this plays out for you guys, too. But I do want to get you um, some advice for the month of January. So for my singles, you're, what I see in January is self-love. I see you um, working on your purpose. I see you kind of just saying, um, I'm not going to focus on dating or on chasing after romance. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to try things differently. I'm going to be in the flow. I know what my purpose is now. I've gone within. I've done some healing. I know what I want for the future, and I'm going after it. 
And that's beautiful, beautiful energy and spirit saying, you know, you may not know when, how, what, why, all of those questions are not really being shown to you at the moment. But just know that when you get in this allowing energy and allow it to just unfold, it will. And it will with divine plan. Okay. So I love you guys. I'm going to go now and I'm going to let you guys go. And we're going to move over to my pile <clears throat> of... No, so we're, I'm not. <laughs> I just remembered I was thinking I was in Patreon. All right, so I'm keeping this. And I'm going to get another deck and use another deck here. I thought I had another deck. What did I do with it? Hold on, guys. <clears throat> Apparently, I moved it. Let me find another deck. Just grabbing the one that's closest. Because I want to get advice for those of you that aren't single. So let me attune my deck. I think I took the other deck in the other room when I went to make tea. Don't know why. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not you then. Who? Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Clarifying. Not clarifying. Advice for Aries in the month of January. Advice for Aries in the month of January. In love and romance. What is your highest and best advice for this pile over here in the month of January? Highest and best advice for this situation for Aries in the month of January in love and relationship. What is the energy? The advice. What is the advice for Aries in love and relationship? Hmm. Okay, so for you guys, your highest and best advice is, and once again, I'm going to turn these around. I always look at the bottom of the deck. And if it's upside down, then I know that my deck was, that's how I determine if it should be in the upright or reverse. So we've got the eight of swords with the 10 of swords, the nine of cups, and the seven of swords. So... I think what spirit's telling you is this person has a lot of fear. And I think when you show up for yourself, when you say, you know what? I deserve to be loved. I, I want you to do something different. I, I'm tired of being an option. I want to be, I want commitment. I think when you do that, that's really going to kind of um, change things here. Because your highest and best advice is not to be stuck to, to there's an ending here, Ten of Swords. It's almost like I get this feeling, and I really hope I'm channeling this right. I get this feeling like when you stand up for yourself. Because this Seven of Swords is lying, it's deception, it's, you know, self-defense, it's strategy. Um, but what I'm hearing for your advice is that you 
you've been wanting to stand up and speak for yourself. It's all swords, eight of swords, 10 of swords, seven of swords. It's like, um, it's like you've been thinking for a while about having this conversation, about telling this person, you know, I just want commitment. I love you. I'm just as sexually, passionately attracted to you. There's a lot of fire here, but there's not enough communication. There's not enough love, you know, cups. We're finally bringing some water into the situation. But it kind of feels like um, just when you release yourself, Eight of Swords, and walk away, Ten of Swords, in this deck, she's walking away. She's like, I'm done. It's not, it's, it's not the same energy as the Ten of Swords in this deck. Um, this energy here is just allowing yourself to end it, to just walk away. Because of all the thinking, because it's swords, right? It's like, you know, having that conversation. It's, it's getting it all out on the table. It's like I'm tired of thinking about saying it and not saying it. I'm just going to say it. Um, but I kind of, because these two came out together, I think that you're deceiving yourself because you think it's going to be over. You think that if you stand up for yourself, if you speak up, if you say things, you know, if you talk about it, that you think you're going to end this and it's going to be over kaput forever. Because on the bottom of the deck, we've got the six of swords in the upright with the knight of swords in reverse. It's like regretting what you said. Knight of swords in the up upright can spew out things kind of irrationally you know, spur of the moment without thinking it through. It's kind of irrational communication or abrupt communication. And so it's like, I think that you think if you tell this person, um, I'm done, I'm moving on, I'm, I'm, I don't want this anymore. Um, you might even actually kind of say it in a way that's rather abrupt painful, but it's because you're tired. You're tired of whatever this represents for you. But I think what spirit is saying is in the month of January, this is exactly what you needed. You need to call them out on their bullshit because the nine of cups is absolutely like this person may not have even known what you wanted. I need, well, I'm going to do that in the extended. Okay. I want to look at, there's some stuff here I need to clarify. So your biggest and best advice is to just basically have the conversation, try to have it in a way that's not angry, in a way that's not sharp or irrational. Take your time to think it through, right? But you need to speak clearly your truth about how you feel about this situation and you need to try something different, right? If you have a hard time resisting this person, maybe they're hot as fuck, you know, or whatever. Maybe you just have a hard time. There's a lot of chemistry between you. And so, you know, it, it might be hard for you with the strength card there to, to stand up to this person and to have that conversation. But it's obvious with all the swords that came out for your advice. Um you need to not overthink it, but you also need, you know, the thinker gets stuck, gets stuck in this energy. You need to not overthink it, but you also need to bring it to, to try to calm down before speaking is what I'm hearing. And I think this person may actually I really need to clarify this. I'm going to. Why is the Seven of Swords here for advice? What does the Seven of Swords mean for advice? 
Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ah, oh, the Two of Cups. All right, that's it. I got it. I understand it. Tower on the bottom of the deck. This person actually has feelings for you. They kind of know that you're their person, their wish fulfillment. They're just not expressing it. It's never been talked about. It's been something that's been hidden. Something that, you know, it was a defense mechanism. That changes everything, guys. So we're going to we're going to go over into the extended now. This was kind of a crazy reading. Um, but I want to read you your postcard too. Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right places, the right opportunities and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before the miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen, allowing we want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, when they will show up, and what they will do for you. All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. If only you knew how much you were loved. Sigh. So absolutely, a lot of overthinking, over-processing. These guys here kind of got it down. Um, you guys are just focusing on self-love. That's really wonderful. I don't even know that I need to clarify anything over here. I might, but I don't know. We'll go into the extended and see what spirit guides me to do. Um, I already kind of did more here too. Um, so I don't know what the extended is going to look like, but we're going we're gonna to figure it out. I want to look at their intentions, their true intentions, because it looks to me like, because I'm not getting an ace here. The only ace I'm getting with, is with the current person. There's no ace of cups coming in with the nine of cups. This kind of feels to me like this person has just, they're afraid of losing you. When you speak up for yourself, when you say, I'm moving on, it's a tower moment for them. And, you know, there's that two of pentacles, that ace of swords. Oh, now we're ready to talk. Now we're ready to talk about our emotions. Now we're not hiding them anymore because you stood up for yourself. You know your worth. You're saying, I deserve love, not just passion. We need to try something different. I'm tired of overthinking this. It's time we have this talk. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. You know, you know what you need to do. These people already here are pursuing their purpose. You guys over here need to speak with purpose. You need to have the conversation. All right, so let's go over to the extended. If this is where we part ways, I love you guys. And I will see you in the next upload in 2022. Namaste.